All right, y'all, welcome back to my podcast once again. So I need to speak on this whole Mr. B situation. And I know you've been waiting for me to talk about this for a while. I've been waiting to talk about my boy for almost quite some time now, because what I don't understand is the hatred that this man gets every day for doing good for the community, helping people cure blindness, helping deaf people here for the first time, and even buying his family, friends, and neighbors by the whole neighborhood for them to actually live at for his employees, family, and friends. I'm literally not understanding the hate and the criticism that this man is getting because he's doing God's work. But people fail to understand and realize that celebrities, they're regular people too. But it's unfortunate that when it comes to Mr. Beast, however, this man gets hate every day. He gets canceled every day. Because the woke mob, the SJWs, love to cry and they want to see this man go down in flames. I really don't understand this at all. The same people that hit on this man are the same people that will become his biggest fans. And you know what they say, your biggest haters are your biggest fans. No matter what you do, they will always hate, but at the same time, they love what you did. Am I not making sense here? So, if y'all don't know what's been going on with Mr. Beast, he's been all over the market, all over the media, you know, promoting his new candy bars in Walmart to helping people hear for the first time who are deaf, helping them hear the voice and hear the mother's voice for the first time. Sometimes in life, I just don't understand what do these people hate this man for? What did he do? Like, are you people that miserable in your life for you to hate this man because what? He's doing good for the people. He's giving back to the community. Unlike you, that is high behind a keyboard and just, just throwing hatred over this man. No matter what this man does, people will always come at his throat. I am literally not understanding this at all. So let's get to the article. He's responded to backlash over the news that he's buying housing in North Carolina for his employees. Critics called the move culty and accused him of creating a company town and that will ultimately benefit his business. The YouTuber said only he could get canceled for giving people a place to live with no strings attached. YouTuber star Mr. Beast has responded to backlash over news that he's buying up an entire North Carolina neighborhood for his friends, family, and employees. I was just trying to help some people. The creator tweeted on Thursday, which is today. Responding to criticisms that he is contributing an unhealthy work-life dynamic. What is that supposed to mean? Creating an unhealthy work-life dynamic. Like, are you trying to tell us that him buying his friends, family, and neighbors a house for them to stay in? For them to have food, heat, air, electricity? A roof over their head for them to survive in life like are you literally trying to tell me that he's creating an, an, an unhealthy lifestyle for his I'm not what what logic is this seriously The YouTuber whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson earned an estimate 54 million in 2022 and lives in a relatively modest home in an area where he grew up near Greenville, North Carolina. On Tuesday, reports began circulating that he's been buying out the neighborhood for himself and his friends, family, and workers per the New York Post. On praise the creator's generosity and genuinely as he's become somewhat famous for giving away millions to strangers other users however accused him of 
starting to create a company town with a little separation for employees between the workplace and their home life. Historically, a company town is a place where if not most of the primary business are owned by one sole employer. His biggest critics have described his latest motion as culty. They can cry all they want. This man is still continuously doing good for the people that want him to help them. And there was a time when Mr. Beast had got caught up in the situation when the fans waited in stores for him to actually pay for their stuff, pay for their groceries. But the people got mad at him for it. At least he took somewhat accountability for it. But at the same time, there's no need for you to actually throw him down into the mud because he made a mistake. I mean, he's human just like you and me. We're bound to try it again. We're bound to start over and get better and improve. But what this person is saying and what these critics are saying call it this move culty because they claim that he's running a cult and all that bull crap. Really? I mean, unless you work for Mr. Beast, then you will understand why he does what he does. Instead of you criticizing him for what he does, why don't you just experience it for yourself? Instead of hiding behind a keyboard and just cry on social media about one celebrity doing good for the people. Like, what are you doing with your life? Besides being miserable and carrying on. Get a life. Your home and your workplace, boss, should be as separated from each other as possible. One use of rope, hater. If the horses, sorry, if the houses are owned by one of his companies, that's leverage. He can pull on, sorry, he can pull on his staff if they want to say leave for a better job opportunity or just unionize on him. What's next? One user asks. He's going to buy a whole estate for his flowers. Man, these people can come up with something so ridiculous. Like, the truth is, they're just hating on it because they just want to see this man fall. That's the problem. They want to see this man lose when he can only continue to go up and move up. Like, you people just don't know when to just shut your mouth. Took the Twitter to write off some of these criticisms. Only I could get canceled for giving people a place to live with no strings attached, he said. Directly responding to a viral tweet calling attention to some of these issues. All these company, no, no, all these company town tweets make no sense. I just want to help some people. And he's doing that. He's doing that. But the problem is, people will always find something to cry and complain about because they want to see this man fall. Like, the people that are miserable are the same people that have no life, no job, no hobbies to work in. They're not making any money. They're just people want to hate because they want somebody to help them. They want somebody to motivate them. Well, you're not going to get that kind of motivation if you want to hit on a celebrity that is doing nothing but good for people. The creator's fans and inner circle then jump to his defense helping. That's it, Jimmy. That's the final straw. I'm moving out of the neighborhood. His childhood friend and fellow YouTuber Chris Tyson wrote back. How dare Jimmy help people out? Another you so equipped it really what I'm not understanding is that that sounds like hate once again because I don't know if this is him you know giving him a compliment for helping out people or is the tweet sounds like a hate I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, though. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all see this tweet, bro? Like, this nigga is legit hating on this man. Bro. He says, what a nice man. 
Surely, a CEO buying homes and creating neighborhoods for their employees, families, and has no historical reference or background at all. Stop the cap. So, this man is just being miserable as they can be. When you know nothing about this man at all, for you to call him, well, accuse him of not knowing anything about the business. Stop the cat. Early lives in the home the YouTuber purchased, but Donaldson has long lived near his childhood friends. As insiders previously reported, Aaron Baldwin, one of the homeowners who sold to Donaldson, told the Post that the creator had mentioned that he planned to move his employees and family into the homes. This is not the first time Donaldson's large-scale, I can't say that word, has drawn criticism. In late January, a video where he filmed himself gifting a cataract surgery to a thousand people sparked backlash as some viewers accused the YouTuber of performing an act for clout and engagement. Others said Donaldson's video highlighted flaws in the U.S. healthcare system, noted that the surgery was ren yeah, rendered inaccessible to those who didn't have the funds or medical insurance insiders reported. Donaldson did not acknowledge um, the systematic criticism but tweeted in defense of his generosity. Twitter rich people should help others with their money. Me, okay, I'll use my money to help people and I promise to give away all my money before I die. Every single penny Twitter Mr. Beast back. What is wrong with what he does? It's like these people Every time he does something good in his life, he always finds something to. Lord have mercy, man. Leave, leave this man alone for real, for real. Like, if you're that jealous and that bitter of one man doing something for his fans and, and the people that he wants to help, besides his family, his friends, and his employees, then don't say anything at all. If you want to be that miserable, and hatred and jealous of that person. What is going on with this? Oh my God, bro. I mean, he said that he's gonna keep doing this until the day he died. And I'm sure, cause we all know what happened to Kevin Samuels last year when he passed away. People that celebrated him passed away are the same ones that turned around and said that, you know what, that man is right for what he said. Are the same people that are gonna do the same thing when Mr. Beast passes away? Y'all are literally proving my point here. Early March, the YouTuber also received online pushback for a video in which he gave away twenty thousand dollars pairs of shoes to South African students in need. Critics accused the creator of profiting from a broken system rather than addressing. It's underlying problems for sustainable improvement, but many rushed to his defense saying the criticism had been overblown and oversimplified as Insider reported. The issue surrounding Donaldson and his elaborate charities is complicated. As YouTuber Logwit Something noted in a video in March, also part of the machine He's not going to fix capitalism. He's going to operate within it. And it's fine that he also does good. Algren said, you don't have to love him because he's doing charity work, but to hate him for it seems a little backwards. Facts. Is it better if he doesn't do it? I don't think so. Like I said before, bro. These people have nothing to do with their lives. But to hate on a man that is doing good for the people that look up to him. Paying for their food, paying for their groceries, buying people's houses, curing people's blindness, curing people's hearings for the first time, whether you're blind or deaf. 
giving away money, giving away $20,000 pair of shoes in need, doing charitable work, doing God's work. And these people will always continue to hate on a man that is on a mission that God put him on this earth to do. Not just making YouTube videos, but being for real and being upfront about it. And you got these so-called critics accusing him of doing all of this stuff for clout when they have no idea who this nigga is. And if I were them, I would probably leave this man alone. What did he do to you? What did he do to y'all? Either you're in love with him or you just continue to hate on him just to hate. Because like I said before, your biggest haters are also your biggest fans. So let me know what y'all thoughts are in the chat. Like I said, I will put the original video of where he hear people's hearing in the video and this article in the description. So I'm out of here.